Hey guys, welcome back to Aliens Airsoft. And yes, I know it's been forever since uh, we put up a video, and I'm sorry about that. We, well, one reason is it's been so hot, and right now I don't know if you can hear it or not. It's raining, um, and we haven't gotten rain in like ever. But a uh, hurricane has been going on, and so it's raining like crazy. Um, and we haven't really gotten any new stuff lately until now. And I have a couple things to make videos of. So let's get started with the first one. And first, I would like to say, um, back in my old video, a uh, link right here, um, it says that I'm doing a tan loadout. Scratch that, I'm not. Um, we had a little mistake when ordering things, and it turned out I got an ACU looking thing instead of tan. So. We returned the tan vest for an ACU, so I'm going to be doing a review of the same NC Star tactical vest in uh, ACU instead of tan, um, and my ACU combat shirt, which this video is going to be about, so enjoy. <laughs> Here it is, my ACU combat shirt. Um, now, obviously, I'm pretty uh, I'm a pretty skinny dude, so um, finding things that fit has been kind of a hassle all my life. But this shirt um, comes in uh, small, I believe. It's made by like uh, I really don't know, but um, I know there's a variety of different brands that make these. They're pretty much all the same kind of deal. Um, so I'm just going to pretty much start uh, top to bottom. Um, so obviously you can see that the neck is a little bit uh, loose on me, but like I said, I'm really skinny. Getting it on, it feels um, tight, not not tight when coming over your head, but it uh, stretches out, but obviously my neck doesn't fill the whole thing. That might be different for you. Um, so onto the fabric, I guess. The arms and sides, if you can see that right there, um, are... 100% cotton, I believe, so uh, like a Hanes t-shirt or something like that is what you're going to see on here, which I was surprised to find out. I didn't know that um, this wasn't more of like a um, like heavier duty fabric, sort of, and I'm actually liking this a lot more than I expected it. Um, so, each sleeve has an adjustable um, cuff or wrist, um, which is Velcro. You pull this out and... Velcro it to your desired thing if you want it to be tight around some hard knuckle gloves or something or just keep it loose and baggy. Um, right now I haven't really messed with it. You have um, some pretty solid stitching going all the way up this thing. You're not going to have any any problems with it separating. Um, on the elbows you have, I don't know if you guys can see that real well, it's uh, got like little rubberized like you, what you'd find on like a football um, and this has got like padding. I don't know if you guys have ever seen like soccer or football goalie gloves where it's got like white padding that's pretty much what's inside of this um we did shoot this with a 400 fps gun from like five feet away um the guy wearing this didn't feel a thing um but the bb did go through this fabric and sit there and we kind of had to pop it out but nothing really tore or um besides that little hole uh this is stitched pretty nice um so pretty much this whole shirt is really built um, fairly nice and it's not going to tear on you or anything unless you've got a uh, snag or something like that. But even like that, it's not going to be easy to go through. Um, on your right arm, you have a zipper pocket, which is probably about um, six to eight inches long. I'm not sure. And it's deep enough to fit a wallet, a phone, um, some BBs, whatever you wanted. Uh, maybe even a radio. Um, whatever you want can go in there. Um, down here, your Velcro. This would either say like U.S. Army or your last name or whatever you want right here. Here is your rank patch for like Lieutenant Colonel or whatever you are in your mil spec, mil sim kind of deal. And your American flag, I believe, is right here. So uh, towards the middle, this fabric is extremely comfortable. I freaking love this stuff. Um, this is so when you have your vest on or whatever, you can have actually breathe and circulate air so you're not too extremely hot. This is uh, 
this will definitely uh, keep you warm, warmer than you would, uh, warmer than you would be in like a regular T-shirt um, in the winter. But it would also keep you cool enough to where you're not going to overheat. Now, um, this is pretty stretchy fabric. It's not uh, Under Armour, but it's not like this. It's um, nice and breathable. You can see through it, meaning air can come through pretty easily. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but this little uh, strip right here isn't on the back. If you guys can see, that's just all one color. And yes, it is on the back, obviously. So left sleeve, you have um, kind of on your forearm, you have two pen uh, slots for like Sharpies or whatever. I have two Sharpies in there right now, just for uh, viewing purposes. You have another elbow pad so you can get prone, whatever you want. Um, that, by the way, your elbow pad goes from, from about my wrist, I don't know if you guys can see, to uh, pretty much almost my shoulder. So you have a pretty good variety of uh, elbow room uh, and padding. So um, up here by your bicep and tricep, you have a, another um, big zipper pocket for whatever you want really needed. Um, and you have, I forget what this is for. It might be for uh, hydration or something. Um, I read up on it sometime. I'll, I'll say something down there. Um, and then you have a big, huge Velcro for patches and whatever you want. So, obviously this is, comes in ACU. I know they have like a tricolor desert, um, probably BDU, whatever you guys want, whatever your style loadout is. Um, obviously, I'm like 5'3", and this fits really nice. It comes fully stretched out to about there. And so... Being a small dude, you're not going to have a problem with anything, especially if you're going to grow into it. Um, like I said, it's very comfortable, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, and the reason I have this is for the ACU vest. I'm going to do a review of next. So watch that. Here's a link. Um, please subscribe. Uh, and, uh, yeah, aliens and stuff. Ugh, I just had, like, a coughing attack, and my eyes are watering like crazy. Right at the end of that aliens and stuff, I was about to... I think I was about to die.